Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be continuing our series on summer blooming tropical plants and the star of today's show will be this Plumeria pudica. This is a tropical shrub with terminal flowering hence it is also called the bridal bouquet. It is a native of Panama, Venezuela and Colombia so you can imagine really hot tropical countries is where this plant thrives. This primarily blooms during summer and it gives out these white, non-fragrant flowers with a yellow center. This belongs to the Firangipani or the Plumeria family, the only difference being the shape of the leaves and the fragrance of the flowers. For those living in cold, frosty countries, this can be grown as an annual. The most distinct feature, however, is its spoon-shaped or cobra-head-shaped leaves. Because of this, it is also called the Nag Champa in Bengali. I still remember when I started uploading videos, I remember not knowing the name of this plant and I just used to Google by writing snake-shaped leaves and the name popped up quite instantly. So, if at all you don't know the names of any plant you like, just look at that distinct feature of that plant and google it and you may find it. So, this plant also contains this white sap just like in the oleander which you must avoid at all times. It can irritate your skin or your eyes if the sap reaches such sensitive areas. Wash off with soap immediately after contact with this. The stem is inundated with these prominent nodes from which leaves and roots arise. So let us talk about the basic care needs you would need to get this plant blooming throughout the summer. Sunlight is the most important requirement. This loves full, full sunlight. In shade you might only get the leaves and it can also be susceptible to mealybugs if there is a lot of shade. Water during summer months for a container plant, I would water this every day and in winters I would reduce watering. But if you have this well established in the ground, then it is a little more drought tolerant and prefers the drier rather than the wet side. Fertilizing, I don't fertilize this plant at all. This can profusely bloom without any kind of organic or inorganic feed. Just give it sun and water and this plant will be really happy. But some compost now and then would not hurt the plant. Potting medium for this plant should be well draining with some amount of organic mix like compost in it. So I would suggest 3 parts sand, 2 parts soil or cocoa peat and 1 part compost. This can be propagated with the help of stem cuttings and you do not have to immediately plant the stem cutting in the soil. You can keep it out even for a month and then later transfer the cutting into a well-draining potting medium. A detailed video on its propagation will come to you very soon. I have not seen seeds on this plant though like the oleander and the firangipani. Now the most tricky part of this plant is its pruning. Now this does not like over pruning. Over pruning can cause stunted growth which means that the plant will not grow very tall. Another side effect of over pruning would be that the leaves will all clump up at the tip of the stem which nonetheless looks good but for those who like a fuller greener plumeria pudica don't over prune this plant. As a thumb rule, you can prune this during the winter months or in the beginning of January, once every two years. Diseases that can affect this plant are mostly mealybugs, scale bugs, aphids, etc. I have barely seen these insects after I shifted this plant from shade to full sun. Neem oil, as always, can help you if you have this problem. So I hope I have covered a lot about this plant that most of you wanted to know. It is a simple, non-fussy plant to grow in your summer gardens. With this, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore. I hope you have enjoyed the show. You can additionally follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more updates. The links are given below. So until we meet again, goodbye.